Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the opening riff to uh, Money for Nothing by Dire Straits, played by Martin Offler, of course. Now this has a very unique guitar tone to it. Um, I'm going to be doing a guitar tone series lesson on this, so you know by the time you see this, you may see uh, an annotation or a link in the description of the video uh, to that lesson if you want to figure out how I'm getting this guitar sound and everything. If you don't see that, it's not up yet, but it'll be about a week or so. Anyway, let's get to it. Uh, he uses a finger style technique here. So we're going to start here on the two middle strings. We're going to have the, uh, just in standard tuning, uh, <clears throat> fifth fret on the D and seventh fret on the G string. Now I'm just using my thumb and index for this. He did that back in the 80s, it seems like, and then more recently he's playing it with just these two fingers a lot. So use whatever's uh, more comfortable. Or we're gonna have um, the that hit twice, then back to just the bar that's just across these two str uh, two strings at the fifth fret on the G and the D string, and then back, put the seventh fret on the G. Come over here, we're gonna hit now the B and the G strings. So keep your first finger where it's at. You're gonna put your uh, second finger on the sixth fret on the B string. And just hit those two strings together. Now in the recording, you'll hear a little a B flat come in there. Uh, I, I, it sounds like it's an overdub or something, or something in the background, because it sounds really weird to do it in the part. So uh, I just kind of leave it out. But so if you're hearing something there, that's what it is. Then we're gonna just go back to this power chord on the two middle strings. Then the the Fifth fret bar, hit twice. Down to the third fret bar, same thing, just two frets. Then the open D string, and then the two open middle strings together. So all together. Now we're gonna go to those two open strings again. Then the third fret uh, bar. Then the open D string twice. Actually hit that open D string again right where you hit the threes. It's kind of got a pedal going the entire time with it. So then come to this power chord here at the uh, first fret on the A and uh, third fret on the D string. Slide it up two frets. Actually, when you slide up, then you're gonna grab the fifth fret here. You don't have to bar this time, just grab with your third and uh, fourth finger. Hit those. Then the open D string. Then you're gonna come up and grab this harmonic. Slightly touch your finger over the fifth fret on the D string. All right, then we're gonna kind of start over, but it's a little bit different. So that's the same. Then you put your pinky here at the, the uh, eighth fret on the B string, and you're gonna pick those two strings again. You're gonna hammer on five to seven on the G while you do it. Make sure you hit that thumb two on the D string there. Alright, then we're going to kind of descend with this. So we got that two fives, two middle strings, then the five and seven, back to the five, then three, open D string, and then the two open middle strings. Then he hits a harmonic, which is about a little bit past the uh, halfway point between the fourth and fifth fret on that D string. Maybe like 4.7, you know? So we have. 
kind of uh, intricate right there. Then we're um, we're gonna hit the uh, two open strings again. Open D. Then you're simply gonna take your uh, first finger at the third fret on the G, hit these two strings together again, and pull off to the open string just on that one string. Then hit the open D again. I'm gonna end it by coming to the uh, third fret bar on the fourth and fifth string, up to the fifth fret, and pick that again. So the rest of the song is very similar. I got a lot of um, similar chord work. He just kind of ramps it down a little bit, and, um, uh, but it's 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 all it's a pretty interesting way of playing the finger style and how it's worked out. And with the guitar tone, it just kind of always creates a very unique riff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back again with another one soon for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye bye.